Hi, good evening. My name is Ufumo. Um, I'll be introducing you to our Bio E Lab Semi Automated Chemistry Analyzer ES100P. It's fast selling and most reliable semi automated analyzer you see in the market today. It's durable, it's easy to use. So, pry it down from behind. And it comes on like this. Show you the Bio Elab ES Quattro 100P. So you just wait for it. So this is the startup screen. So if you want to set up your reagent, what you do? Do your reagent setup. And click on Add. So you put your reagent name here. Particular reagent you need to do. Let's say for example. Let's use try glass right. So try as abbreviation. Wait, then type it in full. Try. Nice right. Yeah. So you set your endpoint. Send depending on what the instruction is on the reagent. Yeah, let's set it on endpoint to kinetic or fixed time to point to VDT absorbance. So it depends. So let's take for example we're using endpoint. Then you set your wavelength. Um, this is the primary wavelength, then the secondary wavelength, depending on what the manual says. So then you stick randomly. Then you choose your activation time, then you choose your testing time, and you choose the um, volume of um, sample you want aspirated. Can use for 50. Mm -hmm. Then you set the units depending on the units you want to use. It can be uh, micromole per liter, milligram per liter, milligram per deal. So it depends what you want to use. Then you set your reference, your reference ranges as well. For example, let us say 5.3 to 8.9. We're just as you mean that the refresh range but depending on what parameter you're doing so you said that you set your linearity it also depends on what your linearity will be on your manual so let your choose randomly let's say it's 560 the linearity so you quit set the temperature and as well you click on save so you come here now you see triglyceride already saved it's one of the parameters already programmed so you go back to if you want to run a test you click on test you can see we have glucose here we have triglyceride so the more um parameters you add the more they keep showing in each of these boxes so if we had to do glucose tests what you do you click on glucose it goes to the glucose log so it's asking you to aspirate water yes so you come here you put your so you click on the aspirate button so you hear that noise so it has aspirated pump aspirate so it's in the testing process so if you come down you can see the graph that it's telling you test in progress zero percent auto empty the analyzer is going to standard mode that means you have to aspirate standard is what we call calibration so you say yes but if you don't want it you say no so let's assume we have a standard to aspirate you aspirate the standard as well click on the aspirate button to aspirate sample this machine is very affordable and reliable it's one of the best machines you can get in the market right now it came with an extra power lamp here yeah. is in here then it also came with extra pump 
cassettes so these are accessories it came with then you also have the uh, printed paper it came with so it's very easy to use the another is going to sample so you say yes so if you have your sample you just aspirate sample just like that as well click on the aspirate button so it's going to give you your results here sample id and the units so this how simple it is to use this particular machine the bio elab es100 is on our website you can order for it very affordable so you can view your results here look at the results you've done for today so you can go back and um, these are the major things you just need to do then power off pipe off here you need to wash the flow cell here yeah, you say yes then you wash yes then return say no so you can say return of the power so these are bio elab bio elab es 100 p is very affordable and it's up for sale you can get it on our website www.cashfire.com this is for a client and we are sending it all the way to be named so look forward to receiving your orders thank you have a blessed day